No speculations have been made as to what could have possibly happened to Minnie Lamini and Quinton Jones' marriage as we saw the reality show and we're like, we really hope this could work for her. Now she was on the radio with Rila Bokhila Mabuja and she was asked if she could tell us what exactly happened to her marriage, right? Now, we don't think that she mentioned what happened to marriage at this point a lot of people are saying she said a lot of nothing she said a lot but trust me it was nothing there was nothing tangible there because she really didn't pinpoint exactly what it was that caused her marriage to end instead she said marriage can end months or years before the initial announcement or before people find out she said she wasn't mature enough in that marriage hence she felt like she wasn't ready she said she really did feel so relieved when the announcement was made that her marriage had ended because it felt like a burden to keep it as a secret um, to herself only and she said she had really wished to raise her kids and um, a, a, a married um, home where two parents are available to raise her kids. And she was really very disappointed when that did not happen. She said settling down felt more like a prison than anything. And she lost herself in that marriage. She said she did not grow. And she just felt like marriage didn't do anything for her. Rilwahile mentioned that she did not know much about marriage because she had not been married herself and many said to her, do not do it. That's how the clip we saw ended. Now a lot of people on the comment sections and everywhere on Twitter because she's trending number one are saying that many said a lot but said nothing. People are saying does anyone really know what Minnie said in that interview? Because it sounds more like a PR interview than anything. And it seems like she's just, I don't even know. Honestly, at this point, I'm so confused. I really am. I would want to know the real reason why that marriage ended. Because I felt like that's how Rila Bokhila was asking it. To know exactly what could have happened. But she just said that. A bunch of that and that. Anything really that you could get from a book. And it was not really conclusive from my viewpoint. What's a story without Nota weighing in on it? This is what he tweeted. Mini Lamini's marriage fell apart because he had to, she had to sleep with Shona Ferguson's friends to ensure DSTV would keep her on screen. She slept her way to the top from the very beginning and a coward husband that turned a blind, a blind eye when it suited him has given up on saving her. Now, Nota has been saying this for a long time and we know that Musa Kaula has also made these videos saying that um, he knows why Mini Jamini's marriage ended and even pointed out to the person that he said could have slept with Mini for her to secure her job at super sport and all of these gigs that she had been getting now a lot of people told nota to sit down and not make such damning allegations about anybody because honestly this is just too much you cannot say that someone slept their way to the top just like that some people were even trying to rile up mini to sue him for saying that to her now please let me know what you think in the comment section do you think that mini did sinister things in a marriage and was actually the reason why her ended marriage because some people have come out to say that she cheated on Quentin. Yes, some are saying that. Some are saying that she is the reason why her marriage ended and that's why she has been so dodgy about pinpointing to exactly what happened to her marriage and she beats about the bush and she runs around and skips and hops and just when we just want to tell us the reason. What was the reason? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.